Namaste. Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. I'm Anjali. Hum ache hey, kaise hey up. And today we're going to be reacting to when Abdul Kalam tore down Barka Dutt. And um, we've done TNT World before. They have some amazing stuff yeah. on their channel. And um, so this is another one. And we've also done some stuff about Abdul learning Kalam. about Abdul Kalam, how what a great president of India he was. But he was also the rocket man. Mm -hmm. And we also know that other countries have um, done a day for him, like a day off, like a holiday. Yeah. In, in his honor. And um, so we know he's amazing. Um, it reminds us a little bit of Modi in that he wasn't married um, and country he came first. He put all first. his love for his country. All of his love for his country. I do believe his love was also for science. I, yeah. He talks about his first baby being his rocket. Um, but country came first. What could he do for India? What could he do to make India better? Was always like his big thing. And I feel like Modi has that behind him as well. And and I feel like, you know, he was Muslim. and But his religion was his own personal. He put India first yeah. and foremost. And he was also very down-to-earth. Um you know, Modi, I feel like, too, is down to earth, like not coming from high up, like starting from ground zero and going to where they are now. Yeah. So just amazing. So let's watch this. We also know Barca Dutt, um kind of likes controversial things. So yeah. this will be an interesting video. Ready to start it up, Bungie? Sure. I didn't. I don't want to take any of your agenda. You have got an agenda. You are meeting. Okay. Yeah. Subscribe to our channel CNN World. Bell icon dabai taaki aap updated rahein hamari har ek video se. He was the president of India. Uh -huh. Now, so it depends on what your perception is, what your standpoint is, what your worldview is. Somebody will say, building democracy in Iraq the way Bush and Blair have gone about it is good for the world. We are dead opposed to it. So you can't agree on these things and participate and, and not be critical or even opposition. No, Mr. Ram, yeah. I didn't. I don't want to take any of your agenda. You have got an agenda. You are meeting, okay? Yeah. But uh, the agenda, what I suggest, that uh, you can calibrate what the national development. That is, 220 million people are below poverty line. So how do you bring them up? How do you bring them up? So that is the agenda. It, it, there may be many developments going on agriculture to any subject, but the agenda is very clear. 220 million people are below poverty, 22% of the people below poverty line. How do you lift them up? What contribution do you make? That's the issue. They That's don't, issue. Yes. But sir, they don't even read newspapers, they don't, they don't watch TV. No, I, I agree with the president. These are the people who are outside the ambit of television. No, cover, covering deprivation. Covering deprivation. President, I think the problem is there's no one definition of what nation building should be. No. There isn't agreement. I can use the definition yeah, and I have talked in parliament also. Give it to us, sir. What is it? What, what is it? See, you fun. tell us what is your I, I, I tell you. I tell you. Because if you want the development of the nation, the economic development, Development of the nation is not the end of it. I have defined national prosperity index equal to A plus B plus C. A equal to GDP growth, that is economic development. B is 220 million people. How we are lifting up every year? Do we reduce the people below poverty line? Third one, nobody talked about that's value system. Value system comes from 200, 200 million, 200 million people. 200 million houses are there. How many houses are joint family? How many of you like joint family system? Lift your hand. How many of you <laughs> like the joint? You see, so you promote such Thank type you. of thing. Thank you. Thank you. So this really shows a lot about Abdul Kalam. And yeah, it's such does. a short time. Like, um, the one thing I did notice is he sits down low. Yeah, he does, to and, show, like, respect to the others. Right. And I think that makes him more humble. Like, he doesn't yeah. mind getting down and... But he's still kind of schooling them. Yeah. Even though he's sitting low, he's he's talking to them. Teaching them, like... He's teaching them. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they realize that at first. But he definitely lets them know, um, you know, he... he brings it back like don't go so far out 
uh, outside of India. Be worried about your own country. Don't right. be worried about other countries. About what everybody else is doing. What are you doing to help India? your country? India's poverty is high. What are we yeah. doing to bring these people up? Every year we need to bring people up so it go, you know so the poverty line comes down and there's less people um, that are suffering you know and so you just see uh, how great of a person he really is. I mean like there could be great people out there that are in poverty because like Abdul Kalam and Modi they both started like really low mm -hmm. but they came up to be really great historic figures. Right. Yes. So you hope um, you know that everybody gets a chance but yeah. I, his focus was really on like what are we going to do to make poverty line better what are we going to do for our own country don't worry about what this country is doing and that president is doing focus on your own country and here are the things that we can do you know he talked about the um you know the living together the community yeah and we've talked about that before on this channel like how that makes india so great People are kind of coming away from that. It's a little bit more Western to like, oh, you're 18, you go off and live on your own or you go to school and then you go live on your own where I feel like parents and grandparents and cousins and everybody either lived, you know, within the same knit or in the same house sometimes. And um, so you had each other to rely on yeah. to um, for support. And so, you know, getting keeping the, some of that, um, I think, helps as well. But he is such a great figure. He is. And one of those people everybody should look up to. You know? Yeah. Especially, like, the religion. You sh it shouldn't matter what religion you are. Like, Abdul Kalam, he's Muslim. It doesn't matter what religion you are in. Muslim, Hindu, doesn't matter. It matters what you do for the country that you're in. Like, yeah. India. Like, what are you doing to protect and help your country? Not throwing stones. No. Yeah. Like, what's that doing? Nothing. Nothing. So we need more people like Abdul Kalam, like Modi G. Like yeah. that's just some like great. Like Syed Akubardin. Yeah. There's some great, amazing um, people out there that have done some wonderful things for India. And, you know, India is secular and that and diverse and it just makes it amazing and it's one of those countries it doesn't matter you're Muslim Hindu Christian you can be the president the prime minister you know you can it's what you do yeah so keep it up and I hope you guys enjoyed this and don't forget to subscribe and join the wonderful growing Jan family and we'll see you all tomorrow bye, bye.